What's up YouTube? Capital G here. Got a little tidbit of news and information for you guys to check out in this video. Obviously, most of the Yu-Gi-Oh! community is still probably in full-on recovery mode from the uh, most recent ban list and trying to adjust their decks or throwing them in the trash, etc, <laughs> etc. Et I've seen so many people say, Cap, I'm never gonna play Dracos again. I'm never playing Sky Striker again. Cap, my Thunder Dragon deck. I threw it in the trash but uh konami actually dropped some other news now obviously this isn't being talked about quite as much because it doesn't have the flash that uh you know a bandless update has but it's still very important there's some good information so you guys can see right here by the title konami put out the press release for eternity code and also for the brand new machina structure deck that we are going to be getting into tcg we've talked about some of the machina cards on this channel they're they're okay i'm not gonna say that i'm overly excited about them so far the konami's got a little more to do to kind of impress me but starting off with eternity code they immediately say that it's going to be the follow-up directly to Ignition Assault. They start talking about the Adagnister archetype and the Ancient Warriors, which was uh, Senka and the uh, TCG, etc., etc. But some interesting things to note here, Konami is actually getting rid of the rare rarity. And I know that sounds kind of weird to say, but yeah, when it goes into or when they start talking about Eternity Code and the full breakdown of the set, guys, you can see... 50 commons, 26 super rares, uh, 14 ultra rares, and then 10 secret rares. So there are no more rare cards in Yu-Gi-Oh, at least not in the core booster sets. The rare rarity is just, it's going away. I guess it's just not going to exist anymore. And honestly, I can't really say that I'm all that upset. I mean, I've played Yu-Gi-Oh!, since the third core booster set in Magic Ruler, I've never, like, I don't think I've ever been thrilled to pull a rare card. There may there may be a card or so that I gotten that maybe it was expensive and it was only released as a rare, but rare is not a rarity just from an aesthetic level that anyone really kind of aspires to get, or I don't know many people who, who are like, rare is their favorite rarity. I mean, most people like ghost rare, ultimate rares, secret rares, my personal personal favorite has always been ultra rare but when people get rares they're generally not happy because the cards just they don't really look that good and I, I don't think that there's honestly that big of a difference between a rare and a common like usually if a card is prestigious enough to be a rare it's like just make it a super rare or just keep it as a common now it does appear that they are going to be upping our amount of uh the ultra rares so we're going to get a couple more ultra rares and booster sets i guess that'll just give them more opportunities for cards that probably should have been bumped i mean again I, I always go back to um what was that booster set savage strike and how weird the rarities were the fact that sunlight wolf was just like a rare and guru was a common there were so many cards in savage strike you know Salaman great or excuse me fusion of fire like that could have been uh definitely like a, a ultra rare something like that so yeah we're getting rid of the uh rare rarity in general now it also talks about some of the other archetypes that are going to be getting support from uh, the Eternity Code booster set. We know about this stuff, like we're getting Madoche support. We're also going to be getting uh, support for Witchcrafters and um, Generators, etc., etc. Well, Konami actually gave us a little peek right here about Dual Overload. And I'm just going to go ahead and quote this verbatim. Duelists who want to be fully prepared should look to Dual Overload to pick up crucial cards for decks like Dinosaurs, Madoche, and Witchcrafter before strong new cards for those themes arrive in eternity code so there you have there you guys have it right there confirmation that we are going to be getting dinosaur madoche and witchcraft the reprints and dual overload this is absolutely a freaking godsend a lot of people like myself have been talking about uh how it was a huge missed opportunity that we did not get the madoche structure deck because if you guys have not looked recently the madoche cards are through the roof i mean i'm talking about chocolate 
chocolate a la mode being like a $45 card and people still buying the damn thing out. So a lot of the Madoche cards have not been printed since like the Zexo era. I know chocolate a la mode is from Cross Souls, I think, but they're incredibly expensive. Some of the dinosaur cards, I think Double Evolution Pale can kind of be expensive as well. And then Witchcrafters, they have some expensive cards. So that's definitely going to be good. Hopefully Konami will, will just reprint like all the high-end Madoche cards. There's at least six or seven of them damn things that really need um, reprinting. And, you know, this is coming from somebody who spent $200 on a Madoche deck last year. Uh, didn't play it at any events and... <laughs> I actually sold it like two weeks ago for like 275 and then the prices went up and I was like, oh no, I made a profit, but I could have made more. So this is definitely going to be pretty damn awesome. The fact that we are going to be getting reprints uh, for those archetypes. And I think that this is just a lot of interesting information overall. But anyways, you guys let me know what you think of this. Are you going to miss rares in Yu-Gi-Oh? And are you excited about some of these confirmed reprints or at least the themes that are confirmed to be getting reprinted in Dinosaurs, Madoche, and Witchcrafter. I won't really talk about the Machina Structure deck because they're not really giving us any information on like the br on brand new cards. They're not telling us the effects of any of this stuff. So we'll just kind of have to wait for the OCG to reveal them. But um, this is good news, in my opinion. These archetypes needed reprints and rares. It's like, eh, you know, I'm not really going to miss rares. I'd rather have more ultras and more of the holographic uh, forms that people actually want. Thank you guys for watching. As always, subscribe if you have not already and turn on that notification bell for daily videos.